Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. There is a good news for this pi minus. And the, what is the good news? The good news is that the pi core team have introduced a pi brainstorming app. Why? This pi brainstorming app is a good news for the pi miners. Let us see. Most of the cryptocurrency that have high price or should we say high value, the developers have a roadmap and the, the developers have delivered on that roadmap. For example, Ethereum have a roadmap and the, the developers of the Ethereum have developed, have delivered on that roadmap. But the Ethereum developer doesn't take the opinion of the Ethereum miners. Well, this is difference in case of Pi. The Pi core team has a roadmap, which we can see in the Pi white papers. They have delivered on that roadmap. Not only they have delivered on the roadmap, they have taken a step further. How? They have taken this step. They have taken, they will take the opinion of the pi miners, they will take whether the step is good or bad from the pi miners. How will they take? Let us see in this video. But before that, let us see what are the things that we are going to discuss in this video. In this video, we are going to discuss what is brainstorming app? How will it work? What are the type of app that will be published in the brainstorming app? Number four, this is a very important topic which most of the Pi pioneers will want to know. Will we be able to KYC it without password? Without passport? Yes, most of the Pi pioneers doesn't have passport. They are facing a problem to get themselves KYC it using the third party app. We will answer this question in this video. Last but not the least, we will want to see the likely value of pi. However, before going any further, let me make myself clear that this is not an investment video. This video is for educational purposes only. If you want to make any decision on pi, please do your own research. Well, before we go on any further, please like, share, and the comment on video. It is your like, share, and the comment on the video that gives me the motivation to produce more of such video. And if you haven't subscribed the channel, please click the subscribe button. And please press the bell icon notification so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Without further ado, let us jump to today's topic. What is brainstorming app? It is a new app prototype in the Pi app application. In other words, it, the brainstorming app is inbuilt in the Pi network app. You don't need to download separately this brainstorming app. And the, what will it do? In this brainstorming app, the Pi pioneers can suggest new ideas, can suggest ideas to build up the value of Pi, can suggest idea that will make the Pi infrastructure better. And the further, the there are project listed. There will be project listed in the brainstorming app. And the, those Pi miner who are interested in joining those projects as a developer, as an admin, as a manager, or in any other role can join pro, those projects through this brainstorming app. And uh, it will allow pioneers to engage with each other. They can share ideas. This is a very important features of this brainstorming app. Thirdly, in the brainstorming app, KYC Pioneer can donate Pi. For the first time in my life, I have transacted using Pi as I have KYC myself. And uh, what will the Pi Core team do with this donated Pi app. The donate uh, the Pi Core team will give 
this donated by to those developer or to this suggest uh, to those by miner who have suggested idea. And if these ideas work very well, or if those have developed by the developers uh, work very well, and if it is good for the uh, pie, then the pie pioneers will pay it from this donated pie. So this is a very important features of brainstorming app. That means the pie will be used as a medium of transaction and uh, it will become valuable. Just imagine if 10 million pie pioneers donated to pie and uh, this pie has given back to the developer, what will happen to the value of pie? Just imagine. And uh, it will try to use the creativity and the collective wisdom and uh, how the pie core team will use the collective wisdom of the 10 million pie pioneers. Say that we have an idea or the pie core team have an idea. The pie miner can give their board either either they will like the idea or either they will dislike the idea. If they like the idea, then they give a thumbs up, thereby giving or thereby taking the collective wisdom of the 10 million pie pioneers, which they are doing right now in this brainstorming app. And uh, it will create real application while building up the value of pie. What does this real application means? Real application means those application which we can use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, for example, the developers may develop business app uh, in which they could sell goods and services and the paid in pie. And uh, while this is good because it will build up the value of pie, just imagine, just imagine 8 million or 10 million pie pioneers started transacting in pie. What will happen to the value of pie? And uh, this is, uh, uh, and the brainstorming app will decentralize pie network and add in decision making. How it will act in decision making to the collective wisdom. So uh, this is the, this is what the brainstorming app will do. How will it work? It will, okay, let us see how we, it will work. Uh, this is the Pi Network app. In the bottom right corner, we find a button uh, written as brainstorm. Just click at this button. Another page will open in this space. In the middle of the page, you can find this continue button. If you click, if you click here, another page will open where uh, you can board. In the present case, uh, there are two uh, there are two application on which the Pi Core team have suggested an idea. The first thing is the eKYC. The second thing is the decentralized KYC. If you like the ideas of of both of both, then you can click a thumbs up button. If you don't like the idea, you can give a thumbs down. But uh, you can click at the thumbs down button. Further, you can suggest new ideas in this uh, uh, brainstorming app. And uh, what and how can we suggest or what are the idea that can be listed in the brainstorming app? Let us see. The Pi community will suggest new idea if possible by the developer. Uh, this means that the Pi miner may suggest new idea for making the Pi more valuable, for making the Pi infrastructures much more stronger. Uh, the Pi community can suggest those ideas using the Pi Brainstorm app. And uh, the Pi core team has stated that the idea suggested by the developer will be considered first as they are the person who are ultimately going to build those application. And uh, what will happen to those idea? Will it automatically publish in the Pi Brainstorm app? No. Those idea will be reviewed by the chat moderators. They will filter, they will see whether those idea is worth or not. If the idea is worth, then they will sign up to the Pi Core team. And then the Pi Core team will publish a subset of well articulated idea that are good idea and the end initial implementation 
plan with enough detail to indicate alignment with ecosystem goal and the, the implementation. Uh, what does it mean? It means that the Pi core team will list idea in the Pi brainstorm app and the, the Pi pioneers can vote whether they like the idea or not. If the idea is accepted by majorities of the Pi pioneers, then that idea will be worked upon and it will be developed into a working model. So this is how the Pi brainstorm app works. And uh, let us see how, or let us see the two project proposal which the Pi brainstorm app will publish. The first project proposal will be on business app. And the, what is this business app? Business app, others app, office will be utilized for business purposes. Means that any Pi miner who can develop an app for business purposes can publish, uh, can submit those idea. And uh, if the idea is accepted by the majorities of the Pi miner, then that uh, proposal will become a business app. And uh, under this app, the developer can sell goods and services. However, the currency won't be fiat currency. It won't be US dollar. It won't be Indian rupees. It will be in Pi. Just see, just see or just imagine what the value of Pi will be when every Pi miner started transacting in Pi. This is very good for the value of pi. And the second project proposal is on ecosystem app. And the what are ecosystem app? Ecosystem app are not business app. They are essential to the infrastructures of pi application to correct the weakness and the grow the pi ecosystem. For example, pi wallet and the DKYC app. As most of you must be aware that Pi pioneers are facing a problem in getting themselves KYC. Well, the Pi core team has suggested an ecosystem app where those Pi pioneers facing problem regarding KYC will be uh, that will be solved using this app, uh, ecosystem app. So this is very important. Uh, the Pi core team doesn't want to leave any genuine Pi pioneers in this project. So this is very important uh, for the values of Pi. We will see uh, why decentralized KYC. Why did the Pi core team suggest that decentralized KYC? In centralized KYC or in DOT, the core team, the Pi core team had to pay in fiat currency. Means that for getting the Pi Pioneers KYC, the Pi Core team have to give money to the Yoti app. And further, the Yoti app doesn't recognize most of the document that the Pi Pioneer have. They recognize only passport and a certain document uh, to verify ourselves. So this has created a problem. In decentralized planning, the verifier may be paid in Pi, not only the verifier, the developer of the decentralized KYC app will be paid in Pi from the Pi fees we have donated in the brainstorm app. Not only the developers of the app, the verifier of KYC may be paid in Pi. This is another important step in building up the values of Pi. And uh, for those people who doesn't have passport, is the current system of KYC or the DOT app recognize only the passport. Most of the, and the, most of the Pi miner doesn't have passport. This decentralized will solve the problem of those person who doesn't have KYC. Any document which, have, uh, which are recognized locally may be utilized in this decentralized KYC. And uh, for people who are willing to take time to KYC and uh, how does this decentralized KYC will work? Let us see through an example. In this example, let us assume that there is a man named Jitesh who wants to KYC himself. What he will do when this 
uh, in this uh, decentralized KYC app, he will open the app of decentralized KYC. He will fill in a form. After filling the form, uh, he will submit it to the Pi network. The Pi network will randomly find another person. In the present case, let that person be Linda. She also want to get KYC. The GTS also want to get KYC. They will interact with each other using this decentralized app. GTS will check the document of Linda and the Linda will take the document of GTS. They will see whether the details that have been filled up by both of them are true and to see that whether GTS is a person and the GTS will check whether Linda is a unique person or not. During this time, uh, this decentralized app will record two separate videos and it will be uploaded in the Pi server. When they have, uh, when they are satisfied that both of them are unique, both of them are human beings, then uh, they will submit the video to the Pi court, uh, to the Pi court team server. And another person in our case, let us say Divya Sri, they, she will check the video submitted by GTS, the video submitted by Linda. If she is satisfied that both are human, both are unique, then GTS will be verified. When Divya Sri acts as a verifier, he will, she will be paid in Pi. And uh, when GTS acts as a Pi verifier, he will be paid in Pi. When Linda acts as a verifier, then Linda will be paid in Pi. Just imagine if Pi trans started transaction in this method, what will happen to the value of Pi? I would suggest, or I would, uh, my, in my opinion, the value of Pi will be around US dollar 1000 by the end of December 2026. So just imagine, uh, just imagine, or just give your thought on this. If you have any ideas regarding the value of pi, or if you like uh, which part of the video, or if you don't understand which part of video, please feel free to give your comment in the comment box below. Well, I will shorten my video here. Thank you everyone for watching this video till the end.